What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video of Project Like a Head. So, um, I got a new dashboard in, but it's not a reproduction. It's a one out of, a, I think, a 79 Z28. Paid a decent price for it. There's two little cracks on it. I'm going to have that fixed. I'm going to get it colored black and have the texture back on it. So, when I get the dash fixed and everything, so when I put it in the car, it'll look nicely. Uh, let me pull the dash in here. I didn't pull the dash out of the car yet. And that dash that's in the car right now is that really dark brown, ugly. I don't understand why Chevy did it. That offered that color. And it's, it's built like the Grand Canyon right now. There's, uh, big cracks. But like I said, let me show you the materials you're gonna need. You're gonna need little thing bondo if it's small cracks the ones i'm fixing i'm gonna use a little thing bondo some adhesion promoter some seam textured paint to give it that vinyl look again and uh the the fillable primer too that's what you're gonna need but like i said let me unbox this dash i'm gonna show you guys what's going on with it and uh um, i don't think i'm gonna put it in the car this video that will be done in the spring Cause we got snow up in Ohio, but yeah, like I said, let me get the let me get the dash out. I'll catch you guys then. All right, guys. Well, here's the OE dashboard I told you about. Nice and everything. The only cracks I'm worried about, I can fix easily though, is that one. And just that little one right there. This is this is gonna be a nice that oh, little one right here. Easily fixed. So I'm gonna get all my materials gathered. It's not gonna be this color when it goes in the car, it'll be black. It came with that. And I got the two uh, AC vents with it for a really, really good deal. So let me get all my materials ready to get this thing on the stands. I'll catch you guys then. Well guys, um, I got the crack filled in, get to sand it after it hardens and everything, like it should. And this is what I used right here. That, and this little gun, that here's the part number for the gun. And that's the uh, 10169 part number for this. Here's the sandpaper, I'm gonna use something tough, just to file it down. You're gonna wanna get your texture coating to make it look like rhino again. That. And your adhesion promoter. Which is gonna be working real well. And uh the other crack. Where's the other crack at? One right here. Just starting to form. I'm gonna put a little bondo on that and bring it back down to like what it should look like. But yeah, I'm gonna bring this back up for you. Crack is filled in. Gotta sand it down when it hardens all the way. Put a little bondo on that, that'll be good. And I'll uh, bring you guys back around and make it look a lot nicer and before I paint it. All right, catch you guys then. Well guys, I got the dash mostly gray off of it so I could set the little finish filling in the little cracks from here. That's a bondo right there, just a little bit of it. That's all it's needed. Uh, other than that, the dash is in really, really nice shape. Besides having to fix that and fix that right there. Yeah. I'll bring you guys back around and smooth it all out. And I'll talk to you guys then. Alright guys, so um, I got this side filled in completely. Just need a little do a touch up. That crack's good. Gonna put a little more touch up on it. Other than that, let's look at the bottom. Uh, I could use a little more. It looks nice to me though. Other than that, look, 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 the dash is nice. No other cracks. 
sat there and uh, cleaned it real good. About all day. Yeah, let me get some touch up on that. Then I'll uh, bring you guys back around. All right, guys, so I finished filling the crack in nice and smooth. Um, you might think it's a different dash, like I said earlier. Nope. Spent like all day getting all the gray off. So when I go to shoot this, when it's warmer outside, it's gonna adhere better and everything. Crack filled right there. Crack filled right there. Not too bad. Let's see, any more cracks on this dash? No, no, mistake me if I'm wrong. Did uh, weren't these bolted on? My, my, the one in the car is. I, I guess they made a change mid year. Yeah, let's uh, oh, I broke a tab. That's an easy fix. Yeah. All right, guys. So uh, I got it back in the box right now because, like I said, it's getting too cold. I can't even shoot the paint, the that stuff on it right now. I don't have a better way to heat this place at the moment. The cracks officially done and filled in. That one done and filled in. Let me rub my hand across it. You don't feel any ridges, which is good. I should probably. Um, it, yeah, it is the same dashboard. You guys might think it's a different one. I just took some lacquer thinner and some solvent. Get all the gray off so when I get ready to shoot it. It's got a, a here and I fixed all that right there. Nice and smooth again. Like it should be. And uh, here. Looks well, good to me. Hopefully you guys like it, and hopefully it looks good in the car when it's all black. Well, guys, um, it can be it for today's video, okay? If you can see, I can't shoot it right now. It's too cold. But I fixed the cracks. And I, I have a little video where you get to see it in the car. Obviously black. Our next video, software connectors and body mounts. Because we're getting ready to put that 383 stroker in. Which is going to be awesome. And, uh. That new radiator I got going in. And uh, I'll catch you guys then.